what's happening through this time if there's a huge shift happening within us where you know we're going from the old system of uh, control and needing to have control and needing to be in the head and uh, you know com competition and polarity and you against me and i need to do better than you we're moving to a space of love compassion oneness seeing our brothers and sisters as our own wanting to support and help everyone uh, and we're not here to save anyone be a martyr sacrifice our soul for another but just to be a support, a container of love where souls can come, heal and experience the fullness of their being. And so this time is really about alignment and coming into balance and harmony within yourselves. And that balance and harmony is about masculine, your masculine and your feminine being in balance. So the masculine, the doing, you know, the ambition, the uh, focus and uh, the need, the mind, the logic being in balance with the feminine which is the infinite which is creativity which is a uh, flow uh, that nurturing energy compassion uh, patience all of these caring you know and stillness and being that's the feminine essence within us and sometimes when i talk on my newsletters about the feminine energy rising i'm not talking about the fe female i'm not talking about feminine female because i get a lot of emails saying yes it's really important for women to rise yes it is but i'm talking about one step further than that i'm talking about the masculine and feminine energy which exists in all of us you know the male and the female man woman but within that the masculine and the feminine and if you go to my youtube channel i've got some meditations on there which is about the masculine and feminine healing and it's not about a man and a woman but it's within each of us that masculine and feminine energy healing and balancing and coming into harmony and when we can come into balance within ourselves, we then can become creation, cosmic creation. So through this time, you know, we are to we are starting to remember that we are one with the universe. And how can we become into alignment? How can we listen to our guides? How can we listen to Mother Nature? How can we, you know, share and support one another? How can we help others on the planet? Um, so there's a, a lot of the unity consciousness rising. How can we share information? How can we assist humanity? Because thousands and thousands upon thousands are awakening at this time. I mean, I would say millions are awakening at this time because these waves that are coming in and no one will be asleep. No one is going to get away with this uh, ascension. No one. Even where, if you're you know, really evolved on this spiritual path, you're still going to go through your tower moments because you are a human being in a human vessel and as long as you're a human being in a human vessel you are going to have emotions and it's to learn to be detached from your emotions be the observer observe your human experience but not be the human experience not be so caught up in your identity but stepping back and observing yourself what you're experiencing why you're experiencing what you're experiencing what can you learn from your experience so these are really important if we can just step back from our identity and observe our human experience and learn from it. I always say when anyone asks me, you know, uh, who is your, who inspires you? Who is your greatest teacher? And I will always say life. Life is my teacher because life teaches me everything. Nature teaches me everything. Uh, I learn from nature and I learn from life. So you know, never feel or know, think you know it all because you'll never know it all. Stay humble, stay in your heart and keep being a student of life and keep learning while you're in a human body. Keep learning, keep growing, keep experiencing life and, and its complexity and also its simplicity. So you may be feeling very sensitive to energies. Uh, many souls are breaking down to break through at this time and sometimes we have to break down to break through we have to be cracked open so that the soul can emerge through us the soul the purity of who you are uh, that lies beyond all the identities the personality the belief systems you know the the parental beliefs and the cultural beliefs and the ancestral beliefs and the wounding and all of that that you we've inherited and we carry beyond that is this pure essence is your pure soul essence and we are being broken down to break through to connect with that gorgeousness that we are within so many souls are going through breakdowns uh, if you do go through breakdowns I'm going to give you tools today that are going to help you navigate those 
times and every soul is going to go through these because we have to release all fear uh, and I often say no stone will be left unturned through this time no stone that has fear that has lack that has victimhood that has um, you know uh, yeah just lack mentality victimhood uh, not feeling free not feeling like uh, you are deserving anything that where you are held back from worthiness it's all going to come up for you to look at childhood wounds are really really important this year and we're starting this week with childhood wounds and childhood healing so we're going to go through a seven week uh, series week on week we're going to build it and journey through so that's going to be really powerful but that's what the universe is asking us at this time to go in face those deepest shadows that we have not been able to face before go to those places that we haven't been able to look at before because they were just too much and a lot of that is childhood healing, childhood wounds. Most adults walking on the planet are carrying a lot of wounding from childhood, and which is why we react instead of we uh, are present. Um, we put up our defenses, we uh, feel attacked, we feel criticized, we feel judged. You know, We don't take well to rejection, abandonment, betrayal. A huge thing with betrayal that we are healing. Um, so we are going through these cycles of just processing you know our childhood wounds understanding why we played out these uh, situations and experiences in our life and where does it take us back to our childhood what did we experience in the womb what did we experience when we were one years old what have we shut away what memories have we not been prepared to look at until now so all this is going to come up this year going deeper into the body to make space for the light that is coming in so so much light is coming in uh, you are going to be shedding your ide identities like you've never experienced before, you know, so don't get attached to your identities, your religion, your culture, uh, your beliefs, everything is going to reverse spin, which means we are letting go, we are reversing the spin. Where there has been lack, you know, we are to remember we are abundant, we are cosmic beings of the universe, we are abundant, uh, Mother Nature shows us abundance, we are one with that energy where we have felt a victim we are to remember we are creators we are creating and writing our own script so if we've created our stories how can we now create uh, and be be the creators that we were born to be so it's learning to work with the quantum field uh, learning to master energy learning to be a master of energy learning to know how to ride these waves that are coming in and this is why the tools are going to be very very important for everyone